My name is Pamela Lund. I'm an MSK radiologist at Simon Med Imaging in Scottsdale, Arizona. Today I'd like to share our work on the fever, which is a flexed elbow valgus external rotation view for MRI evaluation of the ulnar collateral ligament in throwing athletes, a pilot study in Major League Baseball pitchers. And I'd like to thank my co-authors. Our purpose was to perform a prospective pilot study using a new elbow MRI view and patient position designed to achieve reproducible valgus stress across the ulnotrochlear joint to evaluate the UCL in throwing athletes. We looked at 44 symptomatic and asymptomatic professional baseball pitchers who were sent for elbow MRI from spring 2019 through spring 2020. The study was IRB approved and consents were obtained. Two MSK radiologist readers compared standard MRI with standard MRI plus fever view images. The ulnotrochlear joint space was measured at its widest mid-coronal location in millimeters from cortex to cortex, which was determined from the scout localizer. The readers evaluated the UCL as normal or abnormal. They looked at injury grade from one sprain to five complete tear, the signal type, the location, the presence or absence of periligamentous edema and retraction, and recorded a confidence interval for each finding. Here's an example of a volunteer subject in the fever position. We place the patient in the ipsilateral decubitus side for the affected extremity. The shoulder is flexed forward to 90 degrees, the elbow flexed to 90 degrees and elevated about four inches with pads and sandbags. The forearm in external rotation valgus with the palm up, and two 3.8 pound sandbags are placed on the distal forearm to achieve the valgus stress. The elbow coil is then placed around the elbow for scanning. Here's an example of the MRI fever view. On the left is the scout localizer sagittal image where we plan the coronal plane. We use about a 30 to 35 degree angle from horizontal, which approximates the interbundle fiber distribution. On the right, we see a normal UCL fever coronal PDFS image, the long axis view of the normal UCL, and a 2.9 millimeter ulnotrochlear joint space. Here's a patient example. This pitcher had medial elbow pain and decreased velocities for six months. On the standard image, we can see the central signal in the proximal ligament consistent with a chronic partial tear degeneration. And on the right, the fever view confirms the central signal over about 50% of the cross section. The ligament is more elongated and there is significant widening to 6.2 millimeters uh, in the fever stress view. This patient had UCL reconstruction confirming significant valgus instability at surgery. The next patient is a patient who experienced pain after one pitch. We can see some periligamentous edema superficial to the UCL, a small amount of intra-substance signal on the standard view, but when we go to the fever stress view, we see that there is some mild widening of the joint space to 4.3 millimeters, and we see a partial tear in the proximal anterior bundle along with the periligamentous edema. So this is a partial tear and sprain instead of just a sprain that was seen in the standard image. So how much valgus stress did we get in the fever view compared to the standard view? The graph on the left shows the mean measurement in the fever position, which is 3.9 millimeters, and on the right, the mean uh, ulnotrochlear joint space in the standard position, which is 2.1 millimeters for a mean difference of 1.8 millimeters. The interreader agreement for the standard and fever views was good to excellent. We did see a better interreader agreement for the UT joint space measurement in the fever, likely because of the larger measurements reducing standard error. The frequency of MRI findings for standard and fever showed no significant differences. As you can see, there are no non-overlapping confidence intervals. There were some trends uh, in that a few more abnormal ligaments were identified on the fever, and there was less overall periligamentous edema and retraction on the fever view than the standard view, but these did not turn out to be statistically significant findings. We did find a significant increase in reader confidence for several findings, uh, the normal versus abnormal UCL, the um, type of abnormal signal, injury grade, and retraction. The overall confidence was increased by over one point for reader one and uh, 0.8 for reader two. 
The view was well tolerated by most patients. Nearly 70% had no discomfort, 25% mild discomfort, and only 9% moderate discomfort, and no one had severe discomfort based on a 10-point comfort rating. So in conclusion, the peak review achieves valgus stress in baseball pitchers evidenced by increased ulnotrochlear joint space width. The fever added to the standard elbow MRI increases reader confidence for normal versus abnormal ligaments and a wide range of UC abnormalities. It's practical, reproducible, and well tolerated. We'll need further studies including the non-throwing elbow and clinical performance correlation to determine the absolute diagnostic utility of the fever view. Thank you.